going on YouTube? All right, today we are going to uh, just do a little project on uh, a 21 inch yard machine lawnmower. Um, this was actually, uh, somebody sat it out in the garbage. Um, I went by one rainy day and I saw this thing sitting outside with a sign up on the push bar saying free take. If you can get it running and you can replace the pull start and make this thing work, you can have it. So of course, I threw it in the back of my truck, brought it with me. Um, I did some work on it, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Cleaned out the carburetor, uh, cleaned out the air filter because it was clogged, changed the plug, um, did a few odds and ends to it, got it started right up. Now, the only other issue was the pull start. Obviously, as you see, it's all the way down here, not up here where it's supposed to be. And that's just because, as you see, they broke the pull start on it. Um, now I went ahead and restrung this temporarily with some paracord. Um, I was able to get it running the way I did it, but you have to hold down on here as you're pulling it for it to engage. Um, the inside where the recoil goes into the cup, that's all jacked up. He had the spring busted on it. I mean, it was pretty bad. So I rewound everything, but I was able to get it working just enough to get it running. So I went ahead and ordered from Amazon, um, a new recoil, um, you know, set up for this thing. It was only like 20 bucks. And they don't tell you when you buy these that this right here is what they consider a new style. The way these fingers shoot out uh, when you pull that recoil. The only way to make this work is to buy a new cup. They don't tell you that when you buy these that you need a new cup. These new recoils do not work with the original setup. Once I get this thing apart, I will show you um, what the original cup looks like. I'm trying with one hand here to get the new cup out. Here's what the new cup's gonna look like. Um, I think this was 10 bucks. So I gather 30 dollars into a mower that works absolutely perfect. Can't really complain. But once you screw the cup into on the mower on the cylinder head, on the head itself, this is how it's gonna attach to the inside. So that way, when you yank it, those little fingers right there will come out, engage, grab a hold of this, and spin. Um, so this will ride on the outside just like that. So that way it doesn't have contact. Once I pull this apart, I'll show you as far as um, I'm guessing the situation on what, what makes these fail. The, you can see on the inside. Um, it's going to be easier for me to show you rather than tell you. So give me a second. I'm going to get set up here on the stand. And then um, we'll go through this real quick. I'll make a short, sweet, quick video on what you need to do and how you need to replace these. But before I start, this right here is the part number for the cup that you're going to need. All right. And let me see if they got the part number on here. And here you go. And there's the part number for the pull string. Again, these came from Amazon. Um, 30 bucks in total for this. Not a bad deal. Like I said, for a free mower. Didn't have the bagger with it, but who cares? I guess if I want a bagger, I'll get it. The self-propelled works. The blade cuts. Starts right up. Sounds good. Yeah, you know, is what it is, right? So anyway, hang on. Let me get you set up. Okay, we're good. It's uh, it's close enough to 12 o'clock. It's about beer 30. So, as you know, I love my Bud Select. That's what I'm drinking again. Yeah, that was definitely what I needed today. And it's, again, pretty damn humid out here. But, yeah, I need my cigar. So, of course, my Backwood Russian Creams. Awesome. Love them. Mmm, that's a good cigar. It's been probably three weeks since I had my cigar, so I've been wanting one. <coughs> All right, and then it also comes with this plate here with the recoil. I'll show you how this snaps in. Honestly, I really can't see what the purpose of it is, but it does snap in, so I'll show you that. Let's get, now they did lose one of the screws to this, um, so I went ahead and had to kind of find my own in the tool kit to make work i just found me a phillips that actually was the right size so it works fine it's just not the right one but i'm not really stressing that i can always order a uh i'm sure a screw from yard machine if i need to well mtd that's who owns yard machine and then uh and then once i get done maybe i'll take you over show you guys the the little 10 by 17 storage uh, shed that I picked up. Um, so 
like 130 bucks I got it for. It's brand new in the box. There's a Harbor Freight version. Um, apparently the guy who had the, uh, the storage unit before me, apparently he went ahead and um, didn't anchor it down. So of course the wind caught it, yanked it up, bent it all to hell, destroyed it. He took it back to Harbor Freight, told them that it was damaged obviously. But since he had the receipt, they went ahead and replaced it for free. Um, even though it was his negligence. So that's pretty cool on Harbor Freight's part. Um, so anyway, so he had it and decided not to reuse it. So he was selling the uh, the storage building for, I don't know, I think he had it like 165 bucks or something he had on it. I got him to, um, to sell it to me for 130 And I sold a few things. Um... For that 130 so in the end it cost me nothing for it honestly so i got a storage unit for 130 oh free free dollars much better i like that all right so i'll just check it out show you i gotta say as far as putting the storage unit together it wasn't hard but i just was not a fan of uh their stitching their stitching was absolutely awful so anyway so here's the inside and as you see this whole area here See where it's done completely rubbed through entirely? I'm guessing that friction right there is what eventually causes these to fail. And you can see the difference on the cup. New style, original style. If you do buy a replacement recoil like this, you absolutely have no choice but to buy this. Because if you don't, it's not going to work. I found out. I tried to make it work. It's not going to work. So, just figure on getting rid of this so i don't have my impacts out here so i'm hoping i should be able to break that loose hopefully if i can hold it still by hand I'm not sure if it's going to come off without constantly turning the unit but we're going to find out right I'm not sure exactly what size it is so i'm going to kind of wing it here no it's not one inch it's close enough to 15 16 yeah all right let me see if i can hold this thing still maybe what i'll do is not using this one anyway shouldn't break it but this way i'll just hold it and let's see if i can get this thing to snap loose obviously using impact makes this job here much easier much better I'm just a little lazy right now, and I kind of really don't feel like going and getting it. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to, because there's no way I'm going to hold that still with one hand and turn it. Ah, the humbug. I mean, I could probably maybe put something in there to maybe wedge this. I just don't want to break one of those little sprags off. All right, let me go get my impact. I don't really want to, but hang tight. Alright, unfortunately it's going to be a tad bit loud. I got the compressor running, but I got enough pressure in there to make it done work. See how much quicker that was? Alright, obviously not really directional, except for get those fingers back into those locking tabs. Take the washer out, your nut out. Drop your washer in, it centers it up, put the nut back on. And tighten it back down. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. It's a very quick, simple fix. Make sure I got it tightened up. It's tightened up, it ain't going away. really don't need it anymore <laughs> all right so now you're gonna need a flat screwdriver this no good just throw it to the side go back in the box so you have the part number for later or whatever all right 
obviously you got this cutout right here. Your handle goes to that cutout. As soon as you snap it back in, you know the handle. Again, goes to that cutout. Very simple, very easy. Easiest way to get these out of here isn't to put on here and start prying at your plastic. Don't do that. There's a little slot underneath these little fingers. Push your screwdriver under the slot. Push in, push up. Hold it in place with your bottom hand, like this. Find your other slot, right there. Push in, push up. And you can go all the way around, but usually once you hit the third one, push in, push up, you're good, see? It's free. Didn't take a lot of prying, didn't take a lot of effort. And I didn't snap anything on the cover. Take that out, to set it to the side. Take your new one, push it back in. Not a big trick to putting these in. All you're gonna do is where that cutout is right there, and you know the handle goes to there. That cutout is gonna go back into those fingers right there. Get her centered up like that. For the most part, it goes right in pretty easy. You don't have to beat on it, bang on it, do anything crazy. That's it. Snap, 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 snap. Done. Covers in. That's all you do. It didn't take a lot of effort. I don't know exactly what this ring is supposed to be for, but there is a groove in the bottom of those tabs right there, which is where I put the screwdriver at to lift this. These go into those grooves. Just put that in there, put that in there, and there, and there. Somebody knows exactly what the purpose of that is. Hey, put a message on there and tell what the purpose of that is. The holes do not line up with these holes here. So again, and if you try to line them up, they don't line up. So I don't know what the purpose is, but we're going to stick it on there. And that's pretty much it for that. Turn the cover over. It goes on this direction. And as you see, it grabs perfect just like it should. Yet the string is going to go from here all the way up to the handle anyway. But you can see what I was telling you. See how bad that's actually worn through? So, just a bad design, it seems like, I guess. That's why they changed the design up. So, that's it. Cover's no good. Keep it if you want. Toss it if you want. Whatever you need to do. Okay, I'm going to put the screws back in. The missing screw, I opted to put this one up there. Because it gets more force this way, yanking. Eventually I'll order the proper screw, but it's the right thread size. It works. It goes in there. It holds. Yeah. Eventually I want to break down and buy me a rigid 18 volt um, cordless impact gun. Just Hasn't been in the cards yet to get one. But eventually, I'm going to get one. If anybody out there has a rigid 18 volt impact, let me know uh, what you think of it so far. Now, not the screwdriver impact, like the lug nut style impact. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are, if you like them or not. I have all rigid tools. I love all my rigids for my actual job, everything I do. I've just never used the rigid impact. I'm going to see if I can find a washer for that. Hang tight. Let me see. Let me take a look. All right, just so that way it doesn't go pulling out through this rubber right here. There we go. Yeah, might not even have to order the right screw. That actually works pretty good. All right, parts are on. Let me uh, let me see if I can move this camera back a little bit here. Let's go to about there. Move them over down and over so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just bringing, uh, bring that string. I don't know how you at. There you go, up to there. Pull it out real easy. Like that. And now. Let me sit you back over here. Let me bring you up. Can you see me? Yes, you can see me. All right. Loosen this up.
that. Bring the string through. Slide it back up. And after that, pull the handle part. That's it. That's all there is to it. And as you saw, teaching you, 15 minutes. Doing it takes about seven minutes probably to get this done. So if you have a yard machine and you have that issue, don't toss it. Just go ahead and spend 30 bucks. Buy the new updated cover. Done deal. Good to go. So hopefully this video helps somebody um, who has the same issue. Um, but other than that, that's it for the video. Probably my quickest one yet for a teaching video. If you have any questions leave a comment if not like subscribe and share and yeah next we'll be getting onto this toro time cutter 5060 i'm gonna show you the issue of the uh the brake switch that these things have a problem with right here it's a little asshole box 100 hours cause nothing but headaches i'll show you how i bypassed it and uh eventually we're going to replace it but right now it's just bypassed so, again, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Hope you all have a great day. Stay cool. And until next time.